All right, so welcome to another video. Oh, I looked at your screen. <laughs> you look what? I looked at your screen by accident. Uh, that's fine. Um, when I'm cutting, I will know how to work it out. But yeah, as you can see from the title of this particular podcast, this is something that we wish we had done. Although I would say that we did talk extensively and asked a lot of questions extensively before we had a mm -hmm. child. We did. But we did chance on this particular um, topic or questions. And we're going to leave the link to the full thing, 28 questions, in the description box. But for us, we're going to answer, we just picked at random some of them we want to answer and talk about. So if you've already had a child and you wish you had answered or asked some of these questions. Mm -hmm. so I do wonder, though, if you can ever really be ready even if you have all the talks of the world, like re the reality of things is very different, right? Yeah. In my opinion, like when you talk about having a child, it's more about the concept of when, but when the baby's here, it's like you are literally torpedoes <laughs> into the reality into, yeah, of it. What you have to do. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of... No matter how you talk, the reality is always different. Yes. But I think it's also good... That you talk. That you talk before, yes, for sure. Yeah. But you just, I think it's getting to a feeling of we can do this together or we cannot do it together and then find another way. But I think the feeling is more important than it's a logical thing like, oh, now we are ready. I don't yeah. think it's possible. Do you think? To be now you're ready, no. Yeah. I don't think so, too. So today we're going to ask these uh, questions. And Who are you? My name is Kwame. <laughs> I'm Elaine. I don't know why she does. And our channel is Me Plus You Is Us. <laughs> I don't us. know why she does that. Because we didn't introduce ourselves yet. So we talk about everything about our life in Ghana as an interracial couple. We just became parents. Well, seven months ago, oh, but no, it feels like not, yesterday. It's, no, it's not a jest. It's just in a while. Yeah. No, it feels short and long at the same time. Anyway, let's go to the questions. Okay. Bring them on, bring them on, bring them on. So the first question is, um, how will we ensure we both have the personal time we need <laughs> to recharge. Diving straight into boom. Into the messiness. Is it messy? It's not messy. I how, feel how in the beginning, yeah. in the beginning, it was really difficult to find the time. Yeah. And I think for me, it was even more difficult than for you. Because to recharge. You, no, for you, I feel because you have such a strong sense of acts of service, you just go, go, go. Like, you just put your mind to What endless. I have to do, and then I have to do, I do it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even think about it. Yeah, for me, my head gets really full, and then I, I start uh, going around in circles, and that's uh, difficult for me. But, um, but I also like that with the two of us, you bring the structure bits. Yeah. Because I just I just take care of you and I don't care. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Right, but then for example, when we started, um, mm -hmm. we were both waking up every time to take care of Eli, mm -hmm. because we we both wanted to be like sure that you know we're helping the other person. Yeah, be and also because she had a cesarean session and it like she was not the strongest at the time, and I had done the diaper change and yeah milk giving at the hospital so i was doing more of the of that and we thought that in the, in the days coming it would be easier for you to also pick up slowly but then when you you did pick up you came up with the, the idea that we should have schedules yeah the night schedule thing was your idea that okay um one person wakes up and does everything feed change yeah, put yeah, him back. yeah. And then we have three hours to rest and then the next person continues. Yeah. So I really like that um, we were able to immediately, quickly think. I mean, you were able to bring that for us to think. Yeah, so at least one person would have four hours of sleep instead of everybody, everybody going waking at up two, two, two. And then it's going back really intense. Uninter like interrupted yes. sleep, you know. But I also mean a bit later, like for me, especially... Hmm. I feel like doing, I'm not, I'm still not sure. Maybe people are going to bash me in the comments, but I don't know how else to say it. Like for me, I mean, I'm happy I got maternity leave. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But for me, it was such a weird time because I feel like the world got really small 
especially in, so we we I gave birth or we gave birth in Netherlands and then we moved after six weeks to Ghana. Yeah. That transition was rough. I don't know why. I think for me it was really rough to get used to here and. You know, in Netherlands, you can just go for a walk around the block, or it just felt go more free. Go to the park. Free. And then the park. I was yeah, here, and I, I was, like, focusing on really small things in the house and really get worked up about them. I think at that time, maybe I should have said, like, I need an hour a day for myself yeah. to write things down. And Because, honestly, until now, I haven't really written down how the whole birth went and everything so it's also like if i would go back i would maybe take up a bit more space because for you to take care of the baby for an, an hour would it be a big deal but in my head it felt like a big deal yeah at the time and now i think we're getting a bit back into the groove so we try to see like oh what do and you want to do you would today ask, can you do 30 minutes yeah. with, like, with him so i can go do my yoga or just shut eye for a little bit. Yeah. So we're, but, we're trying. Yeah. Um, um, I don't think the next question, the next question is kind of tied to this one because how mm -hmm. we make time for our relationship. And, um, yes, it's funny. A friend asked that the other day, like, how do you guys have still have quality time? And then I was actually, I could say yes, because we do, yeah. what we do is we really like to watch TV together. Yeah. <laughs> like, good we series. We like to have discussions about them. Yeah. Like so it's not like we're watching and not, like, connecting. We're talking about the film or the, the series. And for me, that really feels like quality time. Or that we're both like, oh, are we going to watch tonight? Are we going to yeah, watch tonight? we're going to watch tonight. <laughs> and, and also, depending on the series we're watching, if it's suspenseful and we're yeah. trying to decode, we all have our theories about it. And then when we are done we then go into the actual themes that we discover and we're like, oh, this is what they meant. And yeah. then we discuss the actual theme that, okay, so what about this? What does this mean? Yeah. And, you know, oh, I like that they actually thought of this so in intensely or, like, yeah. deliberately. And it's it's a good uh, it's a good thing that we both have a likeness or we enjoy film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's yeah. easy because you don't have to leave the house for it. Yeah. I and think it's nice. And, and, and we would... Uh, think of what we want to eat either we're going to cook it or oh, no. <laughs> yes. we go and grab drinks and then we're like yeah, okay we feel like true. getting a drink and maybe yeah. we get this food yeah. and then we eat today and then we just chill and yeah it's it's, call it it's nice night. so we do it's our nice. um, quality time but i did like it when you uh so i finished a big uh proposal at work finally <laughs> and then kwame took me out for lunch yeah. Which was really nice. Yeah. I really enjoyed that too. Just to celebrate to, the sheet. Because evenings are a bit more tricky, I feel, with the baby. At least Eli gets a bit like, meh, meh, meh. And, yeah, and in the I think lunch is perfect. Yeah. yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, lunch dates. Yeah. Do lunch dates. Yeah, lunch dates was nice. Yeah, do lunch dates when you can. Um, so, question number three How well do we handle stress and conflict resolution as a couple? So, th we are doing the pre. Um, hmm. Well, I think... Or things we wish we had asked. But yeah. yeah. I think we handle it well, but I do have to say that taking care of another human being is a it's whole other different. thing. You cannot prepare by talking. Different. Because for me, especially in the beginning, the hormones, if the baby would cry, the hormones would literally flush over me and I would get this nature calling like, I have to save my baby. Well, there was nothing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it was super intense. It would be, would be crazy, not crazy. People call women crazy all the time. I mean, just the, how physically I would Intense, react to the baby. Yeah. That would was such an otherworldly thing. Um, and yeah, you get worked up. And I think we learn to quickly say like, can you take over? Can you, am I at the end of my rope? Or if you would see like, hey, are you okay? Should I take over? I think we try to do that. Yeah. There's nothing else you can do. You Not will really. get conflict and you will be tired. And you will You're snap. sleep deprived and yeah, it's normal. Yeah, so it's, it's, I think it's something that you, you, you should already be building before you get pregnant, not to be asking um, when the time is getting closer. If your conflict resolution while you are together alone is not strong enough, there's no foundation to build yeah. on 
the things that are unexpected when the baby is not here because when the baby is not here we are both thrown into this array and yeah. it's just like yo but i do feel as i mean me care who have carried the baby that the pregnancy is really good exercise for a lot of things like yeah. you're practicing so for me asking help for me um, because sometimes you cannot see how I feel that day. So I have to voice it out like, whoa, like I'm so tired, I just want to go to bed. Like you have to communicate that already. Yeah. I think that is good practice. So really see the pregnancy as like a foundation to build like, how you say, best practices on how to check in and yeah. voice out what you need. And yeah, you also have conflict and you can be hormonal and angry and tired and then yeah, it's normal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next question is, how will we approach discipline? And this is how to raise a child, how to discipline the child. Oh, like if you're going to beat a child? <laughs> is that the question? Oh, wow. No, that's a bit But discipline extreme. as in... Uh, I mean, uh, parenting mean? styles. Um, yeah, it's difficult to say, no? Yeah, but I think it's something to talk about. It's, it's more about... Uh, Things that you find. How do you correct your yes, child? Yes, and principles that both of Discipline you. Discipline sounds like heavy. Okay, yeah. Principles that both of you find. Um, uh, I don't. What's, I don't, I don't think know the we words. talked about this before. I think we did in a way, like um, to 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 smack the child or not, or what to do when the baby is doing this, and and I think for both of us, we were on the same page with talk. And yeah, talk it through and yeah. maybe give them a time out. Yeah, so the discipline side. Um, I think we ran out of discipline ourselves because we're not good when he cries. We want to help him out immediately. Yeah, that so one, allowing, we have him to <laughs> to allowing him to just... Um, not like hysterically cry, but sometimes he... Well, just yet, like we tried to distract him because we wanted to record and... I went to the kitchen to clean something up and he was like, meh, meh, meh. And then I came back and he was playing. So I didn't need to. It was good. You yeah, didn't need to just I, jump I just, in. Yeah, so yeah, you don't always have to jump in. I think that's more for us than for the baby. Yeah. Well, I think now at this age it's difficult to say because, I mean, you're teaching him things with words, but there's no... The response back. Yes, and there's no need to say, oh, now you're getting a timeout because you did this. He, he's not even aware yeah i think we have to see how that goes and but i think you're definitely more firm than me <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm usually i'm a soft I'm, boiled egg yeah i'm in a usually way. um i think i'm a i'm a i'm a very i don't know balanced i know how to be soft mm -hmm. but i when it comes to being firm as well i don't um, feel bad about it. I think you're a bit clearer about it. I think yeah, that's I don't, like a I, and, yeah, I don't feel bad about no, it. No, it's no, firm. and this is why it's no, and then stick to it. Well, maybe yeah. I will go into dialogue. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I, I, I do the dialogue part, but then this is the reason why you can't do it. Not that yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's I say so kind of parenting. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. No, that's different. Yeah. I'm not giving you more bread because you already ate this, 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 and you look tired, and that's it. I don't care if you want to play with it. No, no. We're yeah, not playing with okay. it. I understand. It's, yeah. Um, so it's closely related to this one. What are some of the things you liked about the way you were raised? Oh, I just want to ask you And what would yeah. you like to do differently as a parent? Hmm. Big question. Uh, what did I like? Uh, my parents raised me very independently. Mm -hmm. I guess that's also why I went abroad and... I've I've been raised to take care of myself, ask questions, and if you need help, ask for it. But I like that a lot. Um, and uh, my mom did a lot of creative stuff with us, like painting and um, I don't know the, the the crafts. Crafts, yes, crafts. And I think that was really nice. Looking back on it, yeah. I mean, at the time as a child, it was normal, so I didn't think like, whoa, this is so cool. Yeah. But now I'm like, oh yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. Um, please go first and then I'll think of some things that I wanted to do differently um, I liked uh, my mom especially making us uh, feel that we too deserved good mm -hmm. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, at some point you do realize or you do recognize your status or your whether you're middle income or whatever. Mm -hmm. But at no point did she uh, make us feel like, you know, I mean, what these people have or what the other kids may have because they can afford it or their parents can, that you don't deserve it. So I, I like that she instilled in us. I think it, it's one of the things that has made me very, very mm -hmm. confident in going yeah. after what I want. And I know that this is good for me and I want it and I will find yeah. a way to get it. So, yeah, I think that's one of the things I really, really um, liked. Okay. Yeah. I think for me, things I would do differently is that um, as a child, I always thought my parents knew everything. Like, I just thought they were all knowing. I think I'm on the same page. Yes, and I would want, I mean, I don't mind that my kids come, I mean, they should come to us with questions and we can give advice, but I would always say, try to keep that, um, like, okay, I would do it like this, but what do you think? Like Yes, ask them their opinion and also um, let them know that um, it's we're okay all to trying. say, yes, it's okay to say, <laughs> Um, no, like that, that, that he doesn't know this, no, uh, and that he's not sure. But what are you thinking? And then you then get we to, can discuss yeah. that. Okay, if this is what you're thinking, I think that it may end yeah. up this way. So you may have to look at it this way. Yeah. And if it doesn't go your way, or if it doesn't go that way, we can always um, yeah. do this. So they don't feel the need to get things right all the time, or not sure about what to tell parents or what not to tell parents. Yeah. And then they go out making mistakes, and then they hide it. So I think that's one of the things I would do different. Mm -hmm. That yeah, it's it's I okay see. to fail or it's okay to make mistakes and your parents are not all knowing. And so even when I tell you something that I feel that, okay, I'm advising you that you could do it this way and it backfires, you still have the confidence in me to come back because I did tell you that. I'm not really sure, but if you try yeah. this way, it might work. And then let that, me know how yeah, it goes. Yeah, let me know how it goes. That he doesn't yeah. know everything. Yeah, and I think another thing, but that's not necessarily from how I was growing up, but what I'm trying to practice is being present. Because, uh, especially with work and y your phone constantly messages and, you know, you can constantly be distracted yeah. in this, this, these days if yeah. you want to. And I think, um, I, I'm not saying I'm always zen and always in the moment, but I try to, when I'm home with you all, I try to be really be there yeah and play and i mean we can or watch tv be together present, or yeah. just be together and not like yeah it's one of the things i also agree we yeah. we, we can do um differently um well, i also yeah. i also think that um i'm just gonna defend how we were raised a little bit that the times were different for example i i had the privilege i think it's a privileged position that i'm in that i was able to quit my mm, nine to yeah. five and go freelance back in our parents' time. It's something unheard of that you would think of to do because also um, they were in traditional relationships. Mm -hmm. I think our boss is up. They were in traditional or sometimes conventional yeah, yeah. relationships. Let me get it. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted sure. to defend a little bit um, that in their time, uh, first of all, the culture was different. The environment was different. Mm -hmm. And the many things that we are able to make as occupations and still earn from are different now. Mm -hmm. So I have, I'm, I, again, I'm privileged enough to be able to quit my traditional or corporate work and then decide that, okay, I want to spend more time with my kid and do freelance as a filmmaker, as a voice actor. But I sometimes feel, just to counter that, that this time, yes, you have more freedom as in to do the job you want. But on the other hand, there's also more pulling in other directions from social media, from always being in touch with, like when our parents were parents, like you had to really call to somebody's house yeah, in order to had, get somebody. They, yeah, they were in really the evenings, you would be with presence. your family. That's it. They were really it. presence, presence, yes. So in, in that, that sense, that they, they had that balance of, yeah. I mean, you would not bring your work home because there was no way, because your computer, even if there was a computer, would be at work. Yeah. And if you would type things out, it took you like six days to write something. Yeah. And you wouldn't bring a type machine home. Yeah. Um, we have about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six more questions. But at this point, we would like to end it here and do a part two because our boss wants us to pause. <laughs> 
So look out for part two. And part two starts with what name will your child have? Catch you oh, on that one. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go.